Hey guys, it's the Diecast Man here bringing you another review. Today it's on the 118 scale Barago Bentley Continental Super Sport Convertible ISR. That's a very long name. But anyway, I got this at uh, Costco and paid the $14.99 price. And um, I will always leave a link in the description to Amazon uh, where you guys can buy this model for yourselves. Alright, so uh, this car comes in a lot of different color variations actually. Uh, the silver with the silver wheels uh, and the black top up right here. Um, red and black, like black with the red accenting and top down. All black, black wheels black, uh, top down. And then um, I believe that is it. There might be a red and white with the top down. I think there is. Um, but if there's any other colors you can let me know uh, down in the comments section as always. Uh, so just quickly before I start this review, I just want to say that the support has been amazing to 700. Um, that was really, really awesome uh, the morning I woke up and I saw that uh, on there. I don't check YouTube every single day, uh, but that morning uh, I was just over 700 and that was really nice. So we are well on our way to the big goal of 1,000 subs. Uh, so that really means a lot. Uh, you guys are ever so supportive. I love when you ask questions and, and things like that. So um, I try to please you. So... Uh, yeah, thanks so much for that, and let's get to a thousand. Uh, let's get to a thousand really soon. I hope so. That would be uh, that would be pretty awesome. That'd be a pretty big milestone for the channel. I didn't think it would ever get to that point, um, but that's pretty pretty cool to think about, and uh, hopefully it'll be a reality rather than a dream uh, one day. So uh, anyway, uh, back on with the review. So this car came in a Maestro box. It's listed as a Barago. Nothing new. We see this merge uh, all the time. Uh, but this is uh, this is really nice. Uh, my friend was like, why are you getting a Bentley? Because, you know, uh, maybe some people think that Bentleys aren't that cool. I still think that Bentleys are really cool. Um, I, I've always liked them, especially the uh, Super Sport ISR. Uh, that is definitely no exception. Uh, so I, I wanted a Bentley. I obviously don't have any other Bentleys uh, in my collection. And uh, I definitely I wanted to change things up a little bit. And uh, speaking of the collection, uh, collection update video will be coming soon. I think I have one more car that I'm going to order within the next couple of days, and that'll probably be it for uh, a little while, so stay tuned for that. That could be my biggest purchase yet. Um, I, I've really been contemplating it for a while, but I think, uh, I think I'm ready to just uh, blow it all at the wind, so to speak, and, uh, and spend some, some real money on a car. So uh, stay tuned for that, and then a collection update will probably follow after that. I never showed you guys, but... I got a 12-car, um, 118 scale model case um, for the 12-118 uh, 18 scale cars for the wall for my birthday, uh, so that's going to hopefully get put up this week, uh, and then I will do the collection update video based around that and things once I get that new model in, so that will be, uh, that will be really cool. I think I'm going to be buying it. I'm not 100% I'm not sure yet, but I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards it since it is a lot of money, uh, but stay tuned for that. All right, so anyway, let's get started with the review. Uh, like always, we always start at the front, and uh, particularly the headlights. Headlight detail, very strong. You can see uh, right there, we got the nice xenon bulbs there. Uh, it looks great. Some really good depth in the headlights as well. Uh, and the same on the other side, we got the little washers there. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a real mesh there, uh, but it, it is a very, very nice looking grille. Uh, and we got the Bentley logo embossed right there. Uh, more more regular mesh down here. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, uh, it still uh, gets the job done. And uh, we got the foreign plate here up front, 1200TU. Little uh, hood scoops there. Hood vents, uh, one of the ways you can distinguish if it's a Super Sport or not. And then the side profile. You guys know how much I love the side profile. The side profile of Bentleys is pretty cool. Uh, it looks very, very rich. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's definitely a Bentley characteristic, so um, they were able to capture that uh, very, very nicely. So moving on to the uh, front side, so to speak, here, uh, we have the nice, uh, these nice Bentley wheels, very, very iconic wheels. We have the nice Bentley B there, and then uh, very nice to see that the disc rotates through the calipers, uh, and then it says Bentley right there. Uh, so that's very, very nice, and you can see the metallic-y uh, silver paint, which uh, goes very well with the silver wheels. Excuse me, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, the wheels are great. Um, and then coming along to the side here, uh, you, I didn't really notice this until a little while ago, but this black uh, pinstriping thing going going down here that looks pretty nice. Uh, and then the mirror is just a little embossed sticker, 
And then the door handles, which actually have some depth. You can't quite get the door open all the way with them, um, but they do have some nice depth and some black paint there. Uh, nice body cladding there to bring out the back end a little bit. And all segueing into the back end of the Continental. Looks very, very nice, very clean. Uh, tail lights do look good. Um, I wish they would have put a little bit more detail into them, but they are textured. I don't know if you can hear that, but they are textured there. Uh, so that does look very, very nice. Uh, and then just, of course, the brake lights and directionals and things. Bentley logo embossed with this little uh, integrated trunk lid spoiler. Uh, of, I think that's what they're called. It's, it's quite an elaborate name. And uh, it looks it looks black right here, but that's a, that's a stainless steel um, or a, a, like a chrome exhaust ports there. Very slim with the foreign plate just like up front and the two little lights. Gas cap there as well. Alright, so now the fun part. We're going to open uh, everything up. Just like most of these models. Voila, there we go. Alright, so taking a look at the engine, the beautiful Bentley uh, down the center there with the logo looks really, really awesome. I believe it's a W12 or V12 uh, or something like that, uh, since I don't do a lot of research prior and I just don't remember uh, that, that well. Oh, it, I think it says it actually right there. Let's see if I can get the autofocus to go. Um, yeah, it's 6 liter... I can't quite read that, sorry about that, but um, I feel bad now. But um, So yeah, so there's your engine. Um, I'm not really here to discuss the specs of the car, just the details. Uh, so the engine looks uh, very good, the massive there, uh, massive engine. And then it's uh, it's it's in there really, really well. It doesn't doesn't move a lot uh, like some of the older Maestos do, which uh, is something that I don't particularly like. Uh, back trunk, nothing to see here, just some black plastic. Nice, big, spacious trunk, however. And uh, side door panels here. Uh, the diamond stitching, we start to see the diamond stitch and padding, stitch, stitching pattern that's carried throughout uh, the car with the white pinstriping there. All right, and here's your look at the interior. The beautiful Bentley uh, leather-wrapped steering wheel. We got the paddle shifters, the gauges there. Uh, it's kind of weird, too, because from the camera, the camera picks those gauges up as, as like, three-dimensional. Um, but they, they sort of are, but the stickers aren't. They're, 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 the stickers are placed on a slightly, a slightly three-dimensional gauge, which actually is a very nice touch. Uh, and you can see the carbon uh, behind there on that dash with those air vents and everything. Got the two pedals down there. And then we'll take a look at the passenger side view. Got the more of the carbon there and then all the air vents. You can see the nav screen, that big Bentley shifter there in the center. And then the quilted uh, leather with the diamond stitching pattern. And the Bentley logo there on the headrest with the seat belts, the white pinstripe. It looks beautiful. I love Bentley interiors. Um, and uh, this model, they definitely nailed it. It's no exception. Uh, so there's your there's your look at the uh, the interior and a little back seat there too. I can't really move that seat unfortunately to show you, um, but there is a back seat there of course with the same diamond stitching pattern. Yeah, the top doesn't move, uh, which kind of stinks, but I I like it with the top up and the windows down. It's it gives it a nice look uh, for sure. Uh, so we don't really have any suspension um, at all, which is uh, which is unfortunate. But you know, uh, I think the cars look better uh, coming uh, with the lowered ride height rather than having suspension. Uh, I just think it it looks it looks a lot better. Rather, it's also it's also very unrealistic as as well. So um, yeah, so I think uh, now we'll just take a look at the bottom here. And it, all we got is just Barago Bentley Continental Supersport ISR 118 made in China, and then the exhaust ports uh, going out there from the engine uh, looks very good. But overall, a very sleek looking model. I love how low the Continental ISR sits. Uh, it looks looks really really good. Barago did a great job on it. And uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, I don't. I think I'll have uh, another car coming. Probably my biggest purchase uh, ever. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, but the with the review of the 118 scale Barago Bentley Continental Supersport ISR convertible, it's the Diecast Man signing off.